Hey guys, it's me as I promised right back. I'm showing you guys how to make like a lower calorie in, in the country, not going out to get Starbucks kind of caramel macchiato. Okay, I in this saucepan I have one cup of half and half. And the half and half is actually mixed with half skim milk, half, half and half. So it's really half a cup of half and half and a half cup of skim milk. And two tablespoons of Splenda. Okay, while well, this is going to start getting hot and bubbling and all that frothing, we're going to move over here. I'm sparing you guys the details of all of it, like all the mundane things. Um, to show you guys, I use one of, I do use the Dunkin' Donuts cup, but it is me, and it's actually... Starbucks coffee too. <laughs> it's Starbucks coffee and or Dunkin' Donuts coffee actually. I use them both. Donuts. Actually, I'm out of the Dunkin' Donuts right now completely. So, but I have uh, Starbucks French roast in the bowl and I have Starbucks espresso roast in the bag. Um, I used a tablespoon of the espresso roast and four of the french roast in a six in in six cups of cold water and the coffee pot a good old regular coffee pot because when you make a nice coffee you want to make it a little strong um also i suggest when you're making such strong coffee that you clean your coffee pot regularly and when you're going to do that vinegar is your best friend. If you clean your pot, coffee pot out every three to four days with vinegar, every cup of coffee that you drink or every, you know, pot of tea you make or whatever will, will taste fresh and good, you know, not have that bitter nasty taste to it. Okay, um, this is the cup I normally use, so I have it sent back there. It, it's styrofoam and you know but so that you guys can see I'm going to use this one um I, I use Ghirardelli's caramel um let me shake it up okay and this cup I'm going to use like probably we're going to say probably the three cups of coffee I, I'm, I'm sorry, yeah, about, actually about two cups, we're going to say two cups of coffee. We're going to mix the car some of the caramel actually in with the coffee, because I want it to melt in the coffee. Well, flavor the coffee caramel. Okay, so I'm going to stir that up. Okay. And then, aside from the froth, just frothing at the moment, a little too frothy. Things got a bit ugly over there. Okay, I was talking to you guys and I forgot about my my heating uh, half and half over there. So let me move you over here and see what's going on. Okay, so you see I have switched eyes because I had to not because I wanted to. <laughs> Dry. 
off the bottom of this pot so that the worst is that it's well, it's sticky. Okay, anyways, life goes on. Turn this off. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put some cream. I don't know why that had I done that. Um, I don't know, that's so crazy. I'm gonna go ahead and put uh, some cream in the cup with this. About, just watch me. It's about right where the ice lies. Because this is after all a nice coffee. And then this, you're going to want to stir as you're, as you're talking, and whisk it. In this, I have, like I told you guys, one cup, which now it's a little bit less, which means I, I probably should add a little bit more, but considering I'm just going to make this one cup, since it is so late, I just am going to have a cup because I need to do some writing. And with this, we're going to do a little different. I'm going to get some. I've got to actually move to the other side of the room. Put my coffee in. And we're going to pour this. And that I do every day. That, that would be good. And actually, this has been frothed enough. Believe it or not. Okay, and it will be brought really, really just frothy, basically. That's what you're trying to create. It's just a really good broth. If you can, you know, I gotta reach over and grab a spoon. I'm gonna put this on the heat. And I'm gonna put it back on the heat. I'm gonna put that on the spoon. Because I know that we do have a second between that broth. There you guys got to see it. See it in action. Okay. And leave this half on half off too far. Some sugar. You want to sugar in this. And I suggest not only sugar, but a little bit of the best thing to use, which I'm out of right now. That's why I'm using half and half, but is the French cream, the French uh, creamer. Yeah, the French vanilla. French vanilla flavored, yeah. That's the best thing you could possibly use because it's got that um, vanilla to it. You know what I mean? And vanilla caramel is what they use to make the macchiato. But this, however, is just very good. And considering I made it, you know, you gotta praise yourself for something you make yourself, right? Actually, I'm going to stir. Stir it up. Make sure the sugar's all involved there. And then I'm going to put it right on top. Okay. And. I'm going to take you guys with me to my bedroom in which I will taste it.
I'm putting on some tea, if you want to know what I'm feeling, because I drink iced tea during the day, all day pretty much. I, I do drink a smell of soda. By the way, the main when I make sweet tea, twelve cups, uh, tea bags, uh, started on there. Turn you off with a hot stove top. I want to burn you. Okay, and off we shall go to try our caramel macchiato or our version. We're gonna call it our version. The country version. So I claim I claim anything country. I'm claiming it right now. Oh, no, that's right. This is not the town. This is the town. Disgusting. Okay. I have a mouse, and I, the other night I came like, like face to face finally with him, and. We both just stood there standing at each other, and he jumped in his hole, and I ran away, and that was the end of that. So now he thinks he has the upper hand. Damn. Oh, I couldn't wait, but it was delicious. Wish you guys could be here with me. That would be so great. But you can't. And I'm so far from probably most of you guys. I want to really leave the demographics on this. And who relates who better to who? Like, do people in LA relate to me at all? You know, or do you guys relate not? Anyways. Like I said, I'm, I'm carrying you guys with me. That's why. Things are the way they are. I'm dropping that in. This down, and this is the final test on this for me. And it's uh, the see right back where we were. I'm already at 14 minutes. Okay, and it's called the. I think I got that would like tutorial was not really bad, but um. Like, I had a couple of emergencies I don't typically have, like, going on all at the same time. It's crazy. But, um, I'm glad that now, now that Christmas is over, people, like, you know, will settle down, they'll relax, and start enjoying life. And now is the time when, you know, everybody starts looking forward to New Year's, and Christmas is behind us, and that stress is behind us. We're all just in debt. Um... But it's all behind us, and this is the final test. Cigarette with that coffee. So once again, I smoke. Have for a long time. I'm like, I had that. If I'm on camera for a while, and I just look up, you know, etc. But um, and I'm having my coffee. This is basically the test. Everybody wants. Every person that smokes dreams of this moment. Hmm. 
So good. So good. Like, too good for words. Too good for words. All right. Well, thanks for staying with me through my, my disastrous country caramel macchiato. Iced, I guess. Iced caramel ca macchiato. Um, concocted in my kitchen where a lot of chaos just happened. Bye, guys. And thanks for viewing. And the ones that keep coming back and viewing, thanks to you guys. Um, I reached 150 total views. Um, which, you know, may not seem like a lot to people, you know, for a month, but I'd rather slowly come in and stay than quickly come in and go right back out. So, bye dolls. Thanks for watching.